Morning and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, we are going to be doing some spiral shearing. I came across this textile technique by accident, to be honest with you. I'm gonna link the video in the description box down below. It was a video that I made during lockdown on Shibori and I kind of discovered that you can create sort of 3D forms and I thought it might be quite interesting to try that on the mannequin today. So shall we get straight into it? And I thought that maybe I'd do like a little tour just around the room to show you that I've just given it a bit of a switch up and I've got some sort of different areas that I'm going to be concentrating on with each of the specific areas in textiles that I want to work with. So I have put, this is going to be sort of my main desk over here where I am going to be doing, so it's really good for light anyway, um, most of my stuff. Uh, that's the latest work that I've been working on. And, and then I've just positioned sort of the tables over there like that. I have had this room arranged like that before. I'm not saying it's going to permanently be like this at all, because I think I'm going to switch up again in the summer and get some more cupboards and things to sort things out and store things better. And then we've got the usual over here with all my gear, all the shelving. And then this area here is really sort of going to be, I know it doesn't look like it, but I mainly to try and do sort of printing over on that table. I've got some lovely flowers. Why are flowers so expensive? I mean, I don't mind paying £10. That is a gorgeous bunch of flowers. But usually when you go to florists, it's just so expensive. I did a course once. I did a few night school classes on flower arranging. I do love flowers. Maybe I need to grow more in the garden. Do you reckon? Look at these. Layla loves the smell of these flowers. Maybe I'll try and link the little video that I took of her this morning. Layla! Anyway, I'm getting distracted. This is going to be my cutting table over here. Cut my fabrics out, hopefully. Have enough room there. There's me. And then, obviously, got my trolley over here. Now, I did have a load of paints and things, and I sort of considered what would be best. So right next to the sewing machine, I've just literally put all of my sewing gear, which might be a bit easier to access. And then I've just switched up, put in a larger weave that I've done there in that area. I put the other one over there. Oh yeah, that's where the mannequin's gonna stay for now. That's the best spot. And then I've put my other Bermuda weave over there. So today, I've got some satin fabric here, just turned upside down, shiny side facing down and it's 19 inches by 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of my pens to draw out spiral. This is some old fabric. It's going to be quite nice. It's going to get quite distorted like some of these anyway. So raffia fabric which is quite, quite stru structured um, so I'm gonna have a go at putting a couple of spirals on here um, just scattered all over so I'm gonna do one large one somewhere and then put little ones on there <laughs> So I don't know how well you can see that in the center and then a few more scattered around. I've done some unevenly and I've done some sort of a little bit more measured. So that one's quite wide in between and then some of them are a little bit closer together. 
So I want to see, I'm going to sew all this on the machine and then I want to see what it's like when we start pulling the threads. So I'm going to go in with the satin one first. Needle in. And I'm just going to follow the lines around. I'm going to be stopping and starting because I, I tend to put my needle onto the line, lift up the press foot and pivot and turn, pivot and turn. This is the bit that I'm a little bit more worried about because I don't want the thread. I used the Gutterman thread. I didn't use the upholstery thread. I've tried a few different ways out. I, I mixed up the upholstery thread and put the normal machine thread on the bobbin. I had different results for different ways that I tried it. This time, I think that I've done a long stitch length. I think it will drag and pull easily. Just a bit worried about the scale of it and whether that thread's just going to break off, in which case we'll, we'll sort something out if that happens. So, right, let's go. Let's try from the end. Okay, I'm gonna do the gather and shuffle the fabric along technique and then I might start in the middle over there as well. I'll put you on a time lapse. Okay, so this is what we've got. It's all gathered at the bottom and gathered in the middle. So I'm going to tie a knot, finish off that gather at the bottom and then restart, maybe trim off a little bit of thread and try and get some of these ones higher up. So I'm just tying a knot at the top of the piece. I'm going to just tie a knot where I started gathering it in. And then I want to cut one up here and go the second line down. Just a few stitches and I start pulling. Don't know how far this is going to go. Too far. So I'm going to just stop it there, tie a knot. So this is what we've got so far. Lots of ruching. Really unusual. I do really like it. Um, do I want more? Possibly. So I'm going to go in with just trimming the third row down, just nipping in at one of the little stitches there and then pull. And you're just distorting the fabric, which I do quite like doing, don't I? I'm going to go further down now. I'm going to go to the second to last. Put a little nip through there, through the stitches. I think I can hear Layla jingle jingle. There she is. Oh, she can't get in. Hang on. Hello, Layla. Hello. Have you been sleeping under the bush in the garden? Yeah. Have you had a bite to eat? No. She is. Yeah. Are you come to find out what Sally's up to? Oh, I know what you're looking for. You're looking for your bed, aren't you? Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's see if it's a bed. I'll go and get a bed and leave you with her. Is it this? Your little bed? Yeah, it's Layla's 
bed. Isn't it? It's Taylor's bed. Okay, so we've got something here. I say something because it's very distorted, but I think it's quite jazzy and I do quite like it. And I'm wondering, oh, you could layer up other fabrics with it as well. I will do a few more and then we'll try them on the mannequin. Don't forget this one has got several spirals on it. So we're gonna try those out. going to do the same again. I've got all my spirals, so loads of different ones, and I'm going to be pulling and tugging and tying knots and seeing what we can get with multiples. So this is where we're up to on this one. I've got a few more that I just need to pull with the threads bit of a tangle going on on the back but yeah different hey okay so I just pinned those two onto my mannequin and what do you think it's really sculptural isn't it I do like that idea got a load of mini ones as well that I could add onto there I'm wondering whether to do just one more but doing it with hand stitching I love it, by the way, when you send me images of your work. I really like to see sort of people's creative minds and just what you can do with the techniques that I'm sharing with you. You know, because obviously we're all made differently. We're all going to come up with different ideas and using the techniques in which way you, you want to use them, really. Yeah, I encourage you to do that because I'd love to see your work. Is this just me or is this starting to look a bit wacky? <laughs> Whoa, I'm going to get to move up. All right. So as you know, I, I quite like working in more of a fine art type way. But I guess if you were sort of into fashion and you wanted to, I am into fashion, but if you wanted to construct and make it, then that is your textile idea technique, but I quite like working with ideas. What else have we got here? Right, I think I've finished there. I think maybe that is enough. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today and if you're new around here please do consider subscribing. It's free content and really enjoying sharing it with you. Come and develop your ideas and techniques with me. I'll share what I know so far. All right then, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! You gotta just say goodbye to Layla. Hello baby. Hello. Look at that beautiful little paw. Look at those stripes. You are a beautiful tabby cat, aren't you? Tabby cat with the tab cat on. Your colour. You having a nice... Oh. You having a nice little nap? So cute, Layla. So another quick one. It really does help if you give me a like. If you have any ideas about videos that you'd like me to have a go at doing for you, 
and the channel and the community here it's right in the comments down below it gives me a little bit of response and communication and engagement and thank you so much for everybody that always does and my regulars that always write comments it's appreciated all right bye bye